unrecognized countries in Africa. Hello explorers, welcome to another informative video and thanks for watching. In this video, we shall be bringing to light the unrecognized countries in Africa. Defining a country is often a debated situation in many parts of the world and there are still some unclaimed lands out there. In 2011, South Sudan became the world's newest recognized country, while Gilbatra and Kosovo joined FIFA recently and attempted to qualify for their World Cup. Where borders are undefined and land disputed, some parts of the planet remain unrecognized, yet life goes on in these places, often peacefully and with their own cultures remaining intact. The total number of countries on the African continent is most often disputed due to the instability throughout the region. We need to take into account the fact that some countries are independent nations, and while they have geopolitical borders, they are protectorate or territories. Also, certain parts of Africa have a tendency towards political instability. This means that from time to time, countries split, merge, and are renamed. Since colonialism, African states have frequently been hampered by instability, corruption, violence, and authoritarianism. If you're new here, welcome. Be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any of our daily uploads. As of 2021, there are 54 sovereign countries and around 90 countries overall territories and regions which are not recognized by the United Nations, and here are some of the unrecognized countries in Africa. Number 10. The Federal Republic of Ambazonia Ambazonia, commonly referred to as the Amberland, is a self-declared state, internationally considered an autonomous Anglophone state of the UN-created Cameroon Federation of 1961. The federation was controversially abolished between May 1972 and January 1984 by the majority of French-speaking political leadership of Cameroon. Since that time, the component federal state of French-speaking Cameroon has attempted to re-emerge with English-speaking Ambazonia tacked onto her as mere regent in an administered dissemination project amidst fierce resistance. Ambazonia is then the successor state to the former British Mandate Territory of Southern Cameroons. Situated in the Gulf of Guinea, Ambazonia is bordered by the Cameroon Republic to the east, Nigeria to the north and west, and the Bright of Boni of the Atlantic Ocean to the south. Its territory and population constitute an area of 2,710 km square, populated by roughly 5 million people. In 2017, the leading Ambazonian nationalist movements led by the Southern Cameroon's National Council, which hold the de facto control over the interior of the territory, regrouped under the Southern Cameroon's Ambazonia Consortium United Front. On the 46th independence anniversary, October 1, 2017, SCACUF Chairman Tisiku Julius Ayuk Tabe proclaimed the restoration of Ambazonian independence from the defunct Cameroon Federation. The Cameroonian government stated that the declaration has no legal weight and on November 30, 2017, declared war against Ambazonian nationalists. The ensuing war is known as the Anglophone Crisis in the Cameroons. English-speaking Southern Cameroons Ambazonia is admitted to the unrepresented nations and people's organization. Number 9. State of Katanga, 1960-1963 Supported by Belgian troops, the copper, gold, and uranium-rich province seceded from Congo upon independence in 1960. It surrendered after UN troops intervened on the Congolese side. Among the casualties was UN Secretary General Dag Hamaskdorch, killed in a suspicious plane crash on his way to negotiate a ceasefire. The state of Katanga, also sometimes noted as the Republic of Katanga, was a breakaway state that proclaimed its independence from Congo, Leopold Wild, on 11 July 1960 under Moïse Chombe leader of the local Confederation des Associations Tribales du Katanga political party. The new Katangese state did not enjoy full support throughout the province and was constantly plagued by ethnic strife in its northernmost region. It was dissolved in 1963 following an invasion by United Nations oppression in the Congo forces and reintegrated with the rest of the country as Katanga province. Number 8. Republic of Siskai 1981-1994 as early as 1913, the British colonial administration in South Africa had established reserves for its native inhabitants. During the apartheid regime, 10 such Bentustan was established as segregated black homelands with varying degrees of autonomy. Four of them, the then so-called TBVC states, were granted full independence. This stripped its inhabitants, often relocated from or working and living in other parts of South Africa, of their South African citizenship and justified the regime's negligence of utilities and healthcare in the regions. Unlike in South Africa, gambling and strip teas were legalized in the Baton stands, bringing some revenue. None of the nominally independent Batu stands were internationally recognized by any other country than South Africa. They were all dissolved when apartheid ended in 1994. Number 7. Republic of Anjuan, 1997 to 2002 and 2007 to 2008. Anjuan is an autonomous high island in the Indian Ocean that forms part of the Union of the Comoros. Its chief town is Mutamudu and as of 2006, its population is around 277,500. 
The total area of the island is 424 km square. The first inhabitants of the islands were explorers and immigrants from Indonesia and Polynesia. After that, people all around the Indian Ocean began to come to Anjuan and the Comoro Islands. In about 1500, the Sultanate of Nduwani was founded, which took over the entire land. The Sultanate was then the most powerful of all the Comorian Sultanates. In 1816, Sultan Alawi bin Jose requested French assistance against the Sultanate of Zanzibar, which was threatening his domain. The island came under French protection in 1886. France abolished slavery in the Den Tuani in 1899 and formally annexed it in 1912. The strictly republican annexation was opposed by the last reigning sultan by its mega forces, which were crushed when they offered resistance. John Mocknell marooned his enemies on Anjuan in 1644. His ship, the John, was owned by the East India Company, but after riding himself of opposition in this manner, he turned pirate and returned to Britain. Number 6. Republic of Biafra, 1967-1970 Biafra was a state in West Africa that existed from May 1967 to January 1970. It was made up of the states in the eastern region of Nigeria. Biafra's declaration of independence from Nigeria resulted in civil war between Biafra and Nigeria. Biafra was formally recognized by Gabon, Haiti, Ivory Coast, Tanzania, and Zambia. Other nations which did not give official recognition but provided support and assistance to Biafra included Israel, France, Spain, Portugal, Norway, Rhodesia, South Africa, and the Vatican City. Biafra received aid from non-state actors, including Joint Church Aid, Holy Ghost Fathers of Ireland, and under their direction, Caritas International and U.S. Catholic Relief Services. Médecins Sans Frontières also originated in response to the suffering. Its inhabitants were mostly Igbo, who led the independent movement due to economic, ethnic, cultural, and religious tensions among the various peoples of Nigeria. Other ethnic groups included the Efik, Ibibio, Anang, Ejangam, Eket, Ebeno, and the Ijao. After two and a half years of war, during which almost two million Biafran civilians died from starvation caused by the total blockage of the region by the Nigerian government, Biafran forces under Nigeria's motto of No Victor, No Vanquished. Number 5. Reef Republic, 1921-1926 Rebelling against Spanish colonial rule as well as the Moroccan Sultan, the Reefans established a modern republic and sought international recognition. They were finally defeated by the Spanish army's tanks, aircraft, and chemical weapons. Calls for reef and independence have resurged in 2013. The Republic of the Reef was a short-lived republic in northern Morocco that existed between 1921 and 1926. It was created in September 1921 when the people of the Reef revolted and declared their independence from Spanish occupation as well as from the Moroccan Sultan Youssef. Today, the movement to establish a new Reef Republic still persists and is part of modern Moroccan republicanism. Number 4. Sahrawi Arab Democratic Republic, 1976 The Sahrawi Arab Democratic Republic is a partially recognized de facto sovereign state located in the Western Maghreb, which claims the non-self-governing territory of Western Sahara, but controls only the easternmost one-fifth of that territory. The SADR government controls about 20-25% to of the territory it claims. It calls the territories under its control the liberated territories or the free zone. Morocco controls and administers the rest of the disputed territory and calls this land its southern provinces. The claimed capital of the SADR is former Western Sahara capital El Arin, while the temporal capital moved from Bir Lelou to Tifariti in 2008. The SADR maintains diplomatic relations with 40 UN states and is a full member of the African Union. Number 3. Azawad, 2012 Founded by the Alliance of Islamists and Rebellion Tuaregs, the Sharia-run country fell to internal conflicts and disintegrated after three months of independence. Azawad is a name given to Northern Mali by Tuareg rebels, as well as a former short-lived unrecognized proto-state. Its independence was declared unilaterally by the National Movement for the Liberation of Azawad in 2012, after a Tuareg rebellion drove the Malian army from the region. It rejoined Mali in February 2013, after less than a year of unrecognized independence. Azawad, as claimed by the MNLA, comprises the Malian regions of Timbuktu, Kidal, Gao, as well as a part of Mopti region, encompassing about 60% of Mali's total land area. Azawad borders Burkina Faso to the south, Mauritania to the west and northwest, Algeria to the north and northeast, and Niger to the east and southeast, with undisputed Mali to its southwest. It straddles a portion of the Sahara and the Sahelian zone. Gao is its largest city and served as a temporary capital. Number 2. Republic of Matiazo, 1972 The Republic of Matiazo was a secessionist state proclaimed by Hutu rebels in Burundi in early May 1972 at Vianda during the genocidal violence of 1972 as a bid to create a political base. 
At first, the state was located inside the mountainous Bugizo commune between Makamba and Nyanza Lak. However, it quickly expanded to its surroundings, even reaching the border with Tanzania. A few days after the republic was declared, forces of the Tutsi-dominated government of Michael Mikombero occupied the region, ending the rebellion and the existence of Matiazo. The number of people to have perished in the rebellion is believed to have ranged between 800 to 1,200. Because of the nature of the government and the rebellion, many killed were Tutsi hostages held in plantations in the area, tried by the self-proclaimed People's Courts, established in the secessionist states. Academics have dubbed the state mysterious and ephemeral because of lack of reliable information on it. Owing to its lifespan of little more than a week, no formal government structures were ever established in Matiazo. Number 1. Republic of Somaliland, 1991 Somaliland is a self-declared state, internationally considered to be part of Somalia. The government of the de facto state of Somaliland regards itself as the successor state to the former British Somaliland Protectorate, which in the form of the briefly independent state of Somaliland, united as scheduled on 1 July 1960 with the trust territory of Somaliland to form the Somali Republic. Somaliland lies in the northwestern Somalia on the southern coast of the Gulf of Aden. It is bordered by the remainder of Somalia to the east, Djibouti to the northwest, and Ethiopia to the south and west. Its claimed territory has an area of 176,120 square kilometers, with approximately 4 million residents. The capital and the largest city is Hagesia, with a population of around 1,500,000 residents. However, Somaliland's self-proclaimed independence is not recognized by any country or international organization. It is a member of the Unrepresented Nations and People's Organization, an advocacy group whose members consist of indigenous people, minorities and unrecognized or occupied territories. There you have it explorers, those were the unrecognized countries in Africa. Thanks for watching this video. If you did enjoy this video, do all to give it a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe and share with your friends.